Recognize this for it is true. And truth must be recognized if it is to be distinguished from illusion. The special love relationship is an attempt to bring love into separation. And as such, it is nothing more than an attempt to bring love into fear and make fear real. This is very important from the Course's perspective. Let me finish the paragraph, we'll come back to that. In fundamental violation of love's one condition, the special love relationship would accomplish the impossible. How but in illusion could this be done? It is essential that we look very closely at exactly what it is you think you can do to solve the dilemma which seems very real to you, but which does not exist. You have come close to truth, and only this stands between you and the bridge that leads you into it. And so this is trying to say you cannot bring love into fear. We must take fear and bring it to love. Now, it seems like a subtle change. What's the big deal here? Greatly. Because if you bring love into fear, you mean that the thing that is going on is real. You've given it power. Just like you've made what the baby did real. Did the baby do anything real? No, it just pff, did nothing. That was nothing. But when bigger bodies do these silly things to you, it's something. It's still nothing. When you take love and say, well, we need to fix this person, you're saying there's something there that needs to be fixed. There's something wrong. There's something that is inferior in them. And if that is the case, then you are too. So what this means is we take the fearful thoughts, the unloving thoughts, the judgmental thoughts, and we bring them to the Holy Spirit and say, help me sift this through. Help me sort this out. Just like you good cookers do with your flour. You know, when you put that flour in the sifter and you sift it through and you take out what isn't worthy of being baked and you use only what is. So the Holy Spirit takes all your broken toys, all your broken relationships, all your broken thoughts, and he sifts them through and says, none of this is important. Let me show you what you need to do now. Love is the answer, no matter the problem. You're not gonna get there by saying, oh, if I just patch this relationship up, it'll be all okay. No, you know, what is not love is only fear and nothing else, and fear is the opposite of love, and what is opposite to love really has no power because love is all-encompassing. So none of that even exists. Does that make sense? So we need to look at it like this. Let's not make the problem real by saying, I gotta fix this person. Instead, let's say, let me bring this to you, Holy Spirit. What would you have me do? Because we have a lot of ways that we can make our, uh, our specialness look good. You know, we, you know we, we can look really good in our specialness. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then they didn't even respond. <sighs> I don't know what to do with them. But I tried my best. I was being holy. And what this is saying is, no, you it's not up to you to be holy. It's up to you to step back and let him lead the way. What would you, bring my broken toys to God and let him heal them for me.